Glenn with Hustler Hacks here. I'm at Goodwill. Uh, I did find a board game just waiting for Chris the Bonafide Hustler and Brock Park. So when we meet up, I think we're going to go to Savers next and then just uh, see what the day brings. Yeah, really All right, so here we are inside the spaceship with uh, Chris and Brock. If you want to check out Brock's channel, uh, the Orange Elephant 523, I designed his banner for him check him out on youtube we're on to savers and let's see what we can get first this is where i found the uh, n64 persons of lord the caliber this this is a great i like this one okay let's check it out right, so, you know. <laughs> who's this guy parallel hustler youtube <laughs> all right there he is chris bonafide hustler he's probably uh periscope in or something who knows? Looking at the toys, see if we find anything cool. Uh, a lot of like sports cards, bills. I feel really bad for that bear. It didn't deserve that punishment. Uh, see what else we can find. There we go. A couple of cards and stuff. Let's see what Brock uh, found over there. Looks like he has something in his hand. Over there's a. I know he buys and sells this flea market guy. He picked it up and he put it back. Put it like, back. Brother, do you want it? He's like, no, nah, man, you want it? And he tossed it to me. <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> so I'm here looking at the jerseys, and I did find this Dallas Stars authentic jersey. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you gotta love the uh, the stitching on it. And uh, here we go, the Texas with the star in it. So pretty sweet jersey. Keep looking around, see what I find. Virgin got the real controller. Game's a Madden 07, and then it's got the Game Boy player on bottom. Real power cord, 13 bucks. All right, so just left Savers here, and you saw Chris the Bonafide Hustler and Brock Park. So uh, Brock got some pretty sick stuff. I'm not gonna lie, he got um, GameCube, Wii games, a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna have to show you guys uh, when he's done paying out here. But I picked up. A PS2 and a uh, Dallas Stars jersey. I will show you guys at the very end. We'll do a recap on everything. Let's see what these guys got. Canyon products bag right here, new with tags. It is stamped Texas Alliance, but I'll disclose that. I'm thinking I'll probably get about 60 for this one right here. And then I popped on the Sony Weather AM FM radio. This one I'm gonna shoot for 100. This was uh, four bucks. This oh yeah, potential. dude, this okay. is like a lottery ticket. <laughs> okay, so this, yeah, this is a uh, buck right. 50 here. So, no idea. I flipped through there. It's at least another Xbox 360 game. I'm afraid it's going to be like bootleg CDs. Let's see All what we right. got here. Shadows of Mordor. Ooh, not good. Not good. FIFA Ooh. Soccer. Not good. Not good. Ooh. NBA. Not good. Not good. Grand Theft Auto. Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, another NBA. Oh, a Madden. <laughs> I think they Dang, put the dude, game so in. GTA 5. Oh, there's yeah. two discs in that, that thing. Which disc is this one? Uh, is this the game disc or is this the... Uh, isn't there two discs on 5? There is two. Play disc. Play disc. There we go. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Dude, there you go, man. That's like 18, 20. Yeah, that's FBA. awesome. Yeah, there's the campaign disc. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Dude. Score. You ever played GTA 5? No, I have not. Dude, that actually. game is insane. Yeah? Yes, it's not good for your kids, I Yeah, it's going to be like... <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> What's up? So it was running. I had to jump off of that to jump up here. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, running uphill. Oh. So check this out. Still, barely got released from the Bengals. He's already here at the thrift store. Pretty crazy. See his jersey there already. And UTEP Miners, where I'm from. El Paso, representing here in Austin. All right, so I did find this 2K12, worth about 30 bucks. But the find of the day is this huge Simba. <laughs> Let me show you guys the pick. All right, so here's the pick of me and Brock with the huge Simba. And is made by Douglas, uh, official Disney product, and it sells for about five to seven hundred dollars on eBay. Just a crazy find, uh, made in 1994. It's just you'd never think you'd find something like this. We're done for the day. We're not even gonna thrift anymore. Just <laughs> taco time. <laughs> taco time. All right, here we are at one of the pawn shops, just looking around. I didn't find anything, but Brock's over here looking at the Nintendo DSIs, uh, or the DSs, see if he gets anything, hopefully so. Nintendo Land for myself for 450, and then two of the Wii Sports games for five bucks a piece. 
And then thankfully this pawn shop allows returns. So I didn't check this. This is actually a generic controller. I to they totally got me. I thought it was real. If it had been real, it would have been 25 FPS. So I can return that. It's no problem. Uh, but this is pretty cool. This is a DS for uh, 27 oh, wow. bucks. Cool. And inside is a $17 game. Nice. What is so, it called? Kingdom uh, that's Kingdom Hearts 358 slash two days. Plus, then there's another, I'm not sure what Assassin's Creed is, but there's another game with it. So that was all 27 bucks, and I know I can get 45 50 for just a DS. So. Good. Cool. Nice, man. All right, we just ate Taco Deli. Here's the last Goodwill for us. And uh, hopefully something cool in here. All right, didn't find anything in the jerseys, but I did find these floppy disks, brand new. Should be an easy $10 profit, but look at this. Division Champions, my beloved Dolphins. It's like giving me a sign. What else did I pop on? Some Solomon Gore-Tex XA 3D Ultra Pros. Um, these were eight bucks and they could stand to be cleaned a little bit, but these could sell for about 40, 50, but I'm probably gonna use them. All right, Brock, what'd you get, man? All right, so this is a Pro Comp Extreme Rim and it was 20 bucks. I This will be the first thing that I've done anything close to this so if Chris hadn't been there I wouldn't pick it up but it looks like I could probably get 60 to 80 Craigslist. I'm gonna try to Craigslist this first. Yeah and, and it looks perfect man. I mean the lip looks perfect. There's no cracks anywhere. There's yeah. no rash anywhere. So we were real careful when we transported this thing from where we found it to the truck. So we padded the cart up with stuff. That's what you kind of have to do because people are looking for a very mint rim and this guy's got it. Is that a lion? Just kidding. <laughs> There's a lion. That's we use that for down. padding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So there's the big score of the day right here. Spotted by Glenn, but then will be executed by this guy. <laughs> and by executed, I don't mean dentist style. <laughs> <laughs> I mean executed like profit style. So. All right, nothing at that pawn shop. We're gonna go to another one. And I found some pretty cool stuff at this pawn shop when I was here a couple of months ago. So hopefully some good stuff. So they have some ones and some other shoes here. Maybe the best thing are these 14s, but even then they're small. They're only like a size seven. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pass on everything here. All right, just left Buffalo Exchange. You can see it behind me. And I picked up this authentic Tom Brady jersey with the 50th uh, anniversary patch. So I picked it up for 30 bucks. That should be an easy $100 to $120 on eBay. Right now, Tom Brady stuff still selling well despite him cheating and how much he cheats and all they do is cheat. But, you know, they'll have no excuses this year when my Dolphins take the division. But I'll show you the jersey uh, with everything else later on tonight. So great stuff today. Let's review them all. I picked up this Tom Brady jersey. Want to look at that patch right there. Uh, 50th anniversary season pretty nice so 30 bucks at Buffalo Exchange authentic Jersey uh, at the low end I'm thinking like a hundred if I can get 120 for it that would be pretty awesome so profit I'm thinking probably minus fees and everything 50 bucks on it Edward Scissorhands 18 inch figure and this is the one that Chris uh, the bonafide hustler helped me get I think it was like 40 bucks. He talked him down to 30. I had never even been to that store. Uh, I don't even know if you we were supposed to even uh, negotiate prices, but they gave him a deal. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet. So profit on that, I'm thinking plus 40 bucks. Cranium, I picked up for $6.99 at Goodwill. It is fully sealed, new, ready to go. Profit on that, around 26 bucks minus fees and everything. I think it sells for about 45 bucks, Amazon FBA. Dallas Stars, uh, fully sewn jersey, very nice. Uh, $12.99 at Savers, a little pricey, but it should sell uh, for about $45 to $50 range. Minus fees and everything, I'm thinking profit at about 20 bucks, uh, not, not bad. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K12, I got it for $2. And this one sells for 30 bucks, Amazon FBA. 
So profit, we're looking at about 22 bucks. And I got these floppy disk 10 pack uh, made by Sony. And I got this for, I think, three or four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. Uh, I think they sell for about 22 bucks, Amazon FBA. Uh, so pretty good little profit there, about 10 bucks or so. And then a PS2, a crappy condition, but I have a guy that buys them from me. So I got this for $6.99. He usually gives me about 25 bucks for them. Uh, if they work or not, doesn't matter. So pretty good today. You want to look at my little crappy paper again. There's yesterday's numbers. Here's what that Wii controller. Today's number is 181 bucks uh, of those things today. And then if you want to add $200 more, just depending on what that huge Lion King uh, Simba plush is going to sell for, Brock's going to handle that. Uh, that is just the find of the day. You don't see stuff like that. And that really bumps up uh, the money for today as far as profits go. So awesome day today in Austin. Let's see tomorrow, day three, what we can find, what we can get. If you like this video and you like seeing these uh, different finds, let me know below. Uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. You leave me a comment on uh, today's best find. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and get it.